Hi everyone, Dan Scoff here in the Weather Center. Stayed up here during my dinner break, got a lot to catch up on, looking at the latest computer model forecast, but I wanted to post this webcast extra to explain the different winter precipitation types and why we're going to see all three of them, freezing rain, sleet, and snow in northwest Arkansas over the next couple of days. Tomorrow everything's quiet, but the front moves in, so let's begin first of all with this graphic showing the different types of winter precipitation. The first thing ingredient that you have to have in order to have the different types is the shallow layer of cold air. This is well below freezing. This is what we call Arctic air. It's very dense, so it remains very low to the ground, approximately 1,000 to 1,500 feet above the ground. It comes from the north. So the right-hand side of your uh, graphic that you're looking at is north, and the left-hand side is south. Now, I did this during the newscast, but it takes too long to explain in a detailed fashion for the news during weather, so I wanted to post this webcast extra. Another ingredient in order to have the different types of winter precipitation is the warm air of well above freezing. It's a layer about 3,000 to 5,000 feet above the ground, and it surges in from the south-southwest. That's what we're going to see with that persistent southwest jet stream flow. We get very warm temperatures. We're talking about uh, temperatures about three to 5,000 feet above the ground, as warm as 40, even 45 degrees Fahrenheit. That is way above freezing. So here we have a precipitation across the entire area. And I want to let you know that it all starts off as snow because above that warm air layer, temperatures are well below freezing. So it's all snow. The difference is, is when it falls into that warm layer of air. So let's first of all talk about rain. Rain is pretty simple. You have the snowflakes that are falling, they melt into raindrops, into liquid rain, and because it remains above freezing, which is represented by that orange colored area, uh, layer of air, it continues to remain liquid, and so it never freezes. The difference is when you get the shallow layer of cold air, and uh, we're talking about uh, just a few hundred feet deep, sometimes about a thousand feet deep. This is where you get the freezing rain potential. So you have the snow that's falling, it falls into that warm layer of air, and it melts into rain. The problem is, is that it continues to fall, and now you have very cold, below freezing air, sometimes even the mid and lower 20s, uh, and so that causes everything to be chilled. All the uh, elevated surfaces, the power lines, the trees, the cars, car windshields, and fences, and that's why when the rain falls, it freezes and becomes uh, instantly a, a, a coating of ice. And then over time, the more rain that you get, it accumulates into more freezing rain. So it's all about the depth of that shallow layer of cold air. Now the farther north you go, the deeper that colder air is at the surface. So you have sleet, which is frozen precipitation, snow, that melts into rain, but as it falls, it can encounters a deeper layer of cold air near the surface, this layer of air is deep enough to refreeze that raindrop into a solid ball of ice because it takes a longer time for it below freezing so it's going to literally freeze that raindrop into a solid ball of ice. Now the sleet doesn't accumulate on the power lines or on the trees but it does make roads extremely slick and hazardous. Finally, we have snow. Snow is pretty easy. Obviously, the temperatures remain below freezing in the entire layer of air, so it will remain as snowflakes. When you get those wet snowflakes, that's when you have a little very thin layer of warm air, and uh, that can partially melt the snowflakes. They can clump together, and then you get uh, those big, huge snowflakes that fall where temperatures are very close to the freezing mark. So those are all the different types of precipitation, freezing rain, sleet, and snow, and the difference between them and what causes them. Now let's break it down to what we will see. First of all, temperatures tomorrow morning will hover right around the 50 degree mark. Patchy thick fog is likely once again. And that fog is representative of very moist air. I mean, we have a tremendous amount of moisture built up in the atmosphere. And here we have a weather system moving in. So the front moves in, starts to nudge into northwest Benton County by about 4 or 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. But it will already be in Oklahoma by late morning tomorrow on Wednesday. So the layer of cold air will be deeper in the Oklahoma area, but because it takes longer to move into the Ozarks because of the terrain, 
that's why we're going to see more freezing rain and sleet. So watch what happens about 6 in the morning. Freezing rain and sleet begins in Oklahoma. And it moves into our area around 8, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. So for the morning commute, heading off to school, at this point it does not appear precipitation will be falling quite yet. That happens late Thursday morning into the afternoon. I might have said Tuesday, I meant Thursday. Notice Thursday late afternoon, we continue with the freezing rain and sleet, but the cold air has not intruded the river valley, so it still remains above freezing. Now, 32 degrees in Fayetteville is key because if that really does remain the case and we only hover right around 32, that won't cause many issues on the roads at first. But in the upper to middle 20s, that's when you start seeing it accumulate on the roads as well. Notice temperatures will continue to drop Thursday into the 30 degree range in Fayetteville along with freezing rain continuing. Then the system moves out. Well, that's system number one. System number two most likely comes in Friday early morning. So we get a break Thursday evening into early Friday. More snow develops th Friday morning. Notice the snow continuing. This is all a heavy accumulating snow, well over three inches area wide. Then the snow finally moves out by Friday early afternoon. Ice accumulation. Now the computer models earlier in the day were showing nearly four tenths of an inch of ice. They have backed off on this somewhat but literally these change every three hours. So don't look at the ice accumulation amounts and say, hey, you know what, this is exactly what's going to happen because these can easily change. But I do think the swath of freezing rain and sleet will be focused right across Washington County, Madison County, as well as uh, uh, Northern Crawford County, whereas in Benton County, we'll have more sleet and snow that falls. That's the uh, oval that's a, a little bit above um, in Benton County. So uh, we have those two ovals that represent the freezing rain and sleet and then sleet and snow. Notice the ice accumulation about uh, two tenths of an inch in Rogers, but keep in mind Arctic air isn't handled very well by by the computer models and not only that the warm air advection, meaning that warm layer of air, is typically stronger than what the computer models predict. So even though this is showing not as much ice accumulation because it's showing more sleet, that sleet could easily and very well be ice accumulation. Notice the tremendous ice amounts though off to the east of uh, northwest Arkansas in, um, in northeast Arkansas. So here we have the ice storm of January 26th through 28th of 2009. We all remember this. Power outages well over a week for most of us. Now the ice accumulation was extreme. We're talking well over one and a half inches in some locations an average area about 1.5 over northwest Arkansas the lighter purple that you see or the pink color over Rogers is an inch that's the inch contour the darker purple is a half inch and the light and the dark blue is a quarter inch so we're talking you know not nearly as much ice accumulations as uh, what we saw in 2009 but with that being said Computer models didn't forecast this amount of rain. This is when everything came together to create the perfect ice storm. And the setup is very similar. Maybe not quite as strong of a system as 2009 with this one coming in Thursday into Friday, but the setup is very similar. So what about snow? We are going to get snow as well. Look at these snowfall amounts. Over two inches in Grove, over three inches in Grove, over two inches in Rogers. Now we get a lull. We get a break in the precipitation Thursday night into Friday early morning, but watch the next wave that comes through. And again, this is where the cold air is deeper, so we have more snow potential. Then you'll see as we move into Friday afternoon, here's our totals as we show you. Uh, we're looking at totals ranging well over four inches in Rogers and Benton County and about three inches in Fayetteville. So with that being said, on the seven day forecast, you might have seen me go 100% for the chance of precipitation on uh, Thursday and Friday. I do not mean there's going to be 100% power outages everywhere and it's going to be an ice storm. What I do mean is that there will be precipitation in the form of freezing rain, sleet, and snow all across the area on Thursday and we get another round of it on Friday. So this is a widespread area that will pick up precipitation. Every square inch of the area will see precipitation. And then most likely some of that will be frozen on Thursday and then on Friday all of it will be frozen. Difficult forecast but that's the latest. Hope you enjoyed this webcast extra. You have a good one. I'll see you tonight.